What do we want? On Wednesday the 3rd of October, the students of DCU and other universities gathered at Parnell Square in protest over the rise of student accommodation prices. In 2017, 429 students in third level education were homeless. We spoke to student union leader Craig about his views on this dilemma. Today, supported by basically the entire opposition except for Fianna Fáil, um, to demand action on housing, to demand an end to the homelessness crisis and the housing crisis, which which is really feeding into the student accommodation market. But we felt, especially in the last two, three years, with rent increases of 24, 27 percent, right, right back home at DCU. So this is very close to DCU's heart today. Um, so it's it's a big day for us. Yeah. Uh, I'm paying about seven grand for my rent, so it's it's not it's awful, and there's a lot of people paying a lot more. It's absolutely ridiculous. So coming out today means a whole lot to try and voice our opinions and try and make a change because there's people living in awful conditions, and it's just not fit for a dog, never mind students. Basically, I think the rent prices are outrageous. I think landlords are taking advantage of students because we have no choice. I'm commuting from Dundalk, that's an hour and a half every single morning. And frankly, I'm tired and I think that rent needs to go down. In support of the students, several political parties and organisations attended the march, including Sinn Féin and Orla O'Connor, the director of the National Women's Council of Ireland. 69% of students commuted to the university in 2017 including money from DCU. I'm Shauna Burris with DCU TV News.